Hey folks, in this exercise you will reduce the number of points that are used to define a surface. A surface can be simplified by removing either tin edges or points. When the simplify surface command is complete, new points and tin edges are calculated based on specific parameters. The original surface points are still contained in the referenced point file but are not used in the surface triangulation. Let's take a look. In this exercise, you will use the point removal method of simplifying a surface. This method randomly selects points from the surface and reduces them based on the point density at different areas of the surface. More points are removed from areas in which the concentration of points is very dense than from areas that contain fewer points. Now note, you can't specify which points to remove. Points that are used to define surface borders and break lines are not removed with the simplify surface command. Note that this exercise is a continuation with the use of the surface-2 drawing. So let's continue. Go ahead and click on the Home tab. Go to your Layers panel and browse till you get to the C-Topo-Contour Major Original. Let's use this little scroll bar right here. This might work a little bit faster. There we go. We've got a couple of these layers that need to be thawed. Select that and select that. Go ahead and click out of your layers panel. So here are our contours. Now these layers, they contain polylines that represent the original major and minor contours. These polylines will enable you to observe the results of the simplify surface command. So go ahead and click on the modify tab. Click on the surface. And next, go ahead and go to the Edit Surface pull down and go to Simplify Surface. Now, this wizard gives you a few options. What I want you to do is click on the Point Removal. Click Next. And then I want you to select Objects. And see right now the total points selected in region is currently at zero. Let's change that by picking our objects in the drawing. Now the object that I want you to pick is the orange corridor boundary. Note that we have all of these points that are selected within that region. That's quite a bit, wouldn't you say? All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and click Next. And we're gonna cut the amount of points that we have in this region in half. Let's go ahead and clear out the maximum change in elevation. We're not going to be focused on that for right now. Now the next thing to do is go ahead and click Apply. See what happened? The total points removed was about half of the original number. Now note that you can click Apply again to repeat the Simplify Surface command and keep the wizard open. If you click Finish, the Simplify Surface command is repeated and the wizard is closed. Let's go ahead and click Cancel. Now currently, the amount of points in this area, which you can faintly see in blue, is not as dense as it was before. Now the new gray surface contours that we have right here, they match our original polylines fairly close to what we originally had. You can see the little deviations that we have right here. Now the Simplify Surface command can reduce the amount of data that the surface uses without sacrificing much of the surface accuracy. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.